What is going on, everybody? Today, we're going to analyze the tape of Tyler Smith versus Jalen Carter and really get into the battle of these two guys. Both Carter and Smith are top five players at their respective positions. Both guys are super, super young and will probably continue to get better and become Hall of Fame caliber players. And I don't say this lightly. I think both guys are phenomenal players. And today, we're going to watch every single time these guys went up against one another. And do keep in mind, you know, we cover the Cowboys and the Eagles on this channel, so I'm going to be as neutral and unbiased as I possibly can. So me pointing something out doesn't mean that I'm going against the other guy, vice versa. Uh, this was the first play that these guys actually went up against each other. This was the first quarter, three minutes left. Carter at this point had played about seven to eight snaps. And this is fourth and two. So this is a big moment right here for the Dallas Cowboys. You pick the first down up, you continue the drive. You don't pick the first down up. And obviously the Eagles kind of take over. On this one here, you obviously see that Jalen Carter is going to swim to the inside on Tyler Smith. And he does get over the top of Smith. He does a pretty nice job with the left punch. Right arm comes over the top. Uh, to me, this is a great, great job by Jalen Carter to kind of get over the top. Tyler Smith, on the other hand, in my opinion, is going to hold Jalen Carter on this one. But it doesn't get called. So with that, the Dallas Cowboys do pick the first down up. Uh, to me, one of the things with the Dallas Cowboys in this game specifically is they kind of attack the defensive tackles. And I'll try to point out a couple of plays as we kind of go over the course of this video on exactly what I mean. With that being stated, let's go ahead and get into the next snap. Alrighty, guys, let's go ahead and get into the next snap. This is literally the very next play. On this one, the running back's going to pick up a number of yards, but the play does come back off a Terrence Steele hold. Uh, so you can see this was a big run by Tony Pollard. Let's go ahead and break this play down a little bit between Tyler Smith and Jalen Carter. So this is an inside zone to the left. So what that means, the aiming point for the running back is the outside leg of Tyler Smith. And then from that point, he's going to try to bend it into one of these backside gaps. And that's generally how an inside zone works. So for Tyler Smith, he has the responsibility to set himself up to the inside of Jalen Carter. And he does a pretty nice job to keep in mind. I would say this is a very neutral rep because Carter does have his run fit. Smith has sealed this guy out. But I do like what Jalen Carter does at the end of this video. As soon as he recognizes that Tony Pollard's going to cut, he's going to get over the top. And to me, that's a really, really nice job. So Tyler Smith has to do a better job on this one to be able to seal out Jalen Carter and to hold the block. Because the running back could have easily decided to bend it back into this gap here, assuming the center makes the block on the linebacker. And Carter would have theoretically been there, as you guys can see. Not a big deal. Obviously, Pollard ended up running it to the right, picked up a number of yards. It was a hold, so it did come back. Let's get into the next snap. All right, you guys, I want to just take a second really quickly. On this one here, Tyler Smith's going to be in a one-on-one -on -one block. Jalen Carter is going to end up getting the slide and the double team. And this play right here just kind of shows the greatness of both of these guys. On one end, one guy's demanding the double team. On the other end, you can put the other guy in a one-on-one -on -one with a really good defensive tackle, and he's going to be able to kind of beat him, right, in a one-on-one -on -one situation. He'll be able to anchor down. Kind of just shows you the greatness. And I only show you guys this play because we are going to skip these plays. And so we will not be looking at any play where Tyler Smith and Jalen Carter are not involved within each other. You're going to get a four-yard run here by the Dallas Cowboys. Um, this one's going to be duo. And we'll explain what that kind of means on the other end of the play. You guys can see the play here. Uh, it does pick up four yards. Technically, it is a positive play for the offense. But uh, I think Jalen Carter does a phenomenal job on this one. So just kind of breaking this play down here on a duo run. You're going to get seals on the front side as well as the back side here. And then basically you're going to play four guys up against four offensive linemen. Now you run this concept when it's a light box. And what that means is the Eagles are going to keep their two safeties back. So when it's four offensive linemen against four defensive linemen, what that means is there's going to be a total of five gaps. So this here is going to favor the offense. So picking up four yards makes sense. The Eagles are playing a light box. There's five gaps for the running back to ultimately hit. If you guys watch what happens here, Carter is playing the two-eye technique, which is the inside shoulder of the left guard. But you are going to get the double team blocked by the center and left guard. And because the linebacker steps up, Tyler Smith releases. But I do like Jalen Carter and kind of what he does on this play. He does a really, really nice job taking on the double team. Uh, Tyler Biadish isn't really able to get a push. In fact, uh, Jalen Carter kind of resets the line of scrimmage. He's going to push back the center on this one about two yards into the backfield. And you can see that because he gets the push, the running back is going to basically try to hit it into one of these gaps out here. So this is a good job here by Carter to kind of hold the block of Tyler Biadish. 
keep his eyes into the backfield, reset the line of scrimmage. Of course, Tyler Smith does release. This is part of his job, right? He has to read the linebacker. Uh, I would say this is a good rep here by Jalen Carter. Let's go ahead and get to the next snap. All right, you guys, check this rep out. Carter's in the three technique against Tyler Smith. Uh, these are the reps that I live for. Uh, these are the reps to me that really, really stick out. Now, uh, I do want to be upfront and honest with you guys. Uh, Jalen Carter is one of those guys that I think has so many pass rush moves. He has so great power. He's elite as hell already. And he's in like his 11th or 12th game, right? The guy's a special, special football player. But at the same time, that's what also makes Tyler Smith so special. The guy is powerful. And you see plays like this. Fantastic job making contact. Uh, he knows he's going to try to anchor down. So he's going to get the hands to the outside of Carter. Wide base initially. And you can see him just straight up anchor down against Carter. Carter also tries to swim over the top. And it's not going to work. Because Smith has locked his hands into the outside. So there's Jalen Carter trying to swim over the top. You see the left hand kind of punch right there. The right hand of Carter comes over the top, and it does not work. Tyler Smith is all over Jalen Carter on this one. Uh, now, to be fair, Jalen Carter is kind of doubled here with the right hand of Tyron Smith. Uh, Tyler Beidish is also kind of right there. The center uh, also kind of helps. And this is one of the hard things with playing defensive tackle is there's so many different variables that could happen. On one end, you can get chipped or down blocked or, you know, doubled or they run a duo or inside zone and the guy's trying to reach you. So there's so many variables as a defensive tackle. But again, you know, just kind of looking at this play here specifically, really, really nice job by Tyler Smith to straight up anchor down against a good defensive tackle. Let's go ahead and get to the next snap. You guys, check this play out. You're actually going to get a six yard sack here by Hassan Riddick on Terrence Steele. I want you guys just to watch that really quickly. A fantastic move by Riddick. Uh, he's going to hezzy to the inside on Terrence Steele. And with the hezzy, he's going to also kind of add that swipe. And he's going to get a six-yard sack on Dak Prescott. Uh, let's watch Tyler Smith against Jalen Carter. First and 10, a minute and 24 seconds left in the second quarter. So this is a true pass rushing situation. The offensive line knows they're trying to score a touchdown before the half. The defensive line knows they have the responsibility of getting to the quarterback. And on this one, Tyler Smith does a phenomenal job against Jalen Carter. One of the things that a lot of people don't think about when it comes to trench play is the mind games that kind of go into it. You know, on one play, Tyler Smith may jump set Jalen Carter. On the next play, he may throw a ghost move. And this is a great example of it. If you guys look at Tyler Smith's left hand. He throws that left hand out there. And that's going to make Jalen Carter react a little bit right there. And to me, this is exactly what Tyler Smith loves to do. If you guys watch this guy's tape, he does the mind things with defensive linemen. So he's going to throw a fake punch. Jalen Carter's going to react. And as Jalen Carter's hands are kind of coming back down, Tyler Smith's going to lock in with Carter. And on this one, he's going to do a phenomenal job with the hands to the inside. And he ends up pushing Carter backwards and really anchors down. The quarterback's obviously kept clean from the left guard specifically. But he does go down because Sasan Riddick obviously beats Terrence Steele. So really nice job by Tyler Smith. Let's get into the next snap. There will be a couple of plays that we skip. Uh, plays like this we would skip as well because this is a designed play by the defense. Uh, Jalen Carter's really just meant to slant. And on this one, he does a really nice job taking on three guys. Obviously, you can see the pass is completed for 30 yards. Uh, but this play is designed, as I stated. You're going to bring Josh Sweat off the edge. Carter's job is to kind of just eat up the space between these three offensive linemen if possible. Riddick's going to drop off. The D tackle here is going to slant to the inside and you're going to bring a guy here and you're going to basically get the linebacker to try to get the pressure to the quarterback on this one. Jalen Carter obviously does a good job, but there's no way he's going to ever get the pressure, right? Going up against three guys. Plus it's a design play specifically. So as we go into the second half, we kind of continue down the line here with the rest of the videos. We will skip plays like this. This is a phenomenal block here by left guard Tyler Smith. He's going to do a really nice job. Not only sealing Jalen Carter out to the outside, but he's going to generate a really nice push on Carter. Uh, the play here pops for five yards, and I would make the argument if the running back hit this gap better, and he almost thought about it, if the running back actually took this ball and hit this gap here, I think this play picks up about 10 yards. But what he's going to do, as you'll see here in slow motion, is he almost thinks about going towards the left there, but he's going to ultimately end up just running it to the right side here. Uh, he still picks up about four, four and a half yards, but to me, the thing with this play is Jalen Carter has to hold this ground. So as he makes contact here with Tyler Smith, 
uh, based off of the angle that Tyler Smith is taking. Tyler Smith wants Jalen Carter to go to the outside. And of course, Carter also has that gap. But what Carter has to do on this play is he needs to hold his ground. On this one, Tyler Smith's going to obviously push this guy out of there, which is going to allow the lane to kind of develop a little bit wider. Right? You can see right there, Tyler Smith is going to be able to push Carter about three to four yards backwards, and you don't really want that. You want Jalen Carter to be able to hold his ground. Not a big deal. Just wanted to point it out. The play actually doesn't even run into that gap. Regardless, let's go ahead and get to the next snap. You got a third and six on this one. This is a cover zero. So you got the linebackers that, that are going to basically blitz. Uh, and I guess technically they're not linebackers. I believe they're both safeties. Cover zero. So you're going to bring seven guys. A guy's going to go free. He's going to get pressured to the quarterback. The quarterback does a great job giving the tight end the, the you know, the, the option of being able to kind of go out there and make a play. Uh, Ferguson takes this one for 32 yards. Uh, really, really nice job once again by Tyler Smith. I do want to state this as well as we kind of look at this, this video here. Uh, Smith's going to do a really nice job anchoring down. Uh, I do think that it is harder for a defensive lineman to get to the quarterback than it is for an offensive lineman to win a rep, right? And I, I state that, you know, not as a knock on either one of the guys. I state that as something that I factually realized at this point. You know, Aaron Donald can play 900 snaps in a season, and he'll only end up with like 12 or 13 sacks. That, that That's for a reason, right? Uh, and as we've watched up to this point, there have been reps where Jalen Carter's won, right? Of course. And and you can realize those reps and say, hey, you know, regardless of the outcome of the play, Jalen Carter won. Uh, but then there's also reps like this. I mean, this is probably the best rep I've seen up to this point. Uh, Tyler Smith straight up just shuts down Jalen Carter. Now, I'm not sure from a scheme perspective, his job is still to try to get off the block, right? And on this one, he wasn't able to do that. Not a big deal. Just wanted to point that one out. Let's get into the next snap. You got a really, really nice rep here by Jalen Carter. He's going to be lined up in the three technique, a third and four, true pass rush situation. And it, it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one as well, right? Because of the fact that the Eagles put a guy right over the center. You know that Jalen Carter and Tyler Smith are going to be in a one-on-one. -on -one. So Jalen Carter kind of takes advantage of that. Uh, he's not going to try any sort of pass rush move. He's going to just try to bull rush Smith. And this is a winning rep here by Jalen Carter, right? Powerful, physical. And this right here is is. is a really really nice rep uh, most people don't do this to tyler smith but of course most people also aren't Jalen carter uh, you can see tyler smith is trying to anchor down you can tell by kind of the way his body gets positioned he's trying to drop the anchor and his feet just don't land underneath him uh, and carter gets right to the inside great leverage on this one you can tell he's right underneath tyler smith and he's going to pressure the quarterback uh, Tyler Smith, I think, does let go at the end of this. He doesn't actually hold Carter. So to me, that's a really, really nice rep by Jalen Carter. Let's get into the next snap. You got another rep here. Uh, I would say this is a neutral rep for sure. Initially, Tyler Smith's going to do a great job getting the hands on Carter. But Carter does, at the end of this, rip and he does win. Uh, play is obviously an incomplete pass. If Dak Prescott doesn't decide to throw it up deep, the way he does on this one and let's say he brings his helmet you know from over here maybe he comes back over here to the left and he looks at the receiver running across i think jalen carter would have generated the pressure because at the end of this play that rip move right there allows him to get the leverage and if dak prescott does not throw the ball and let's say he goes to the second or third read again i think carter may have generated a little bit of pressure uh, but i would say it's a neutral rep because the quarterback does get the ball out and smith does do a good job initially Let's get into the next snap. Alrighty, guys. So this is actually the final rep that these guy, two guys go up against one another. Uh, Tyler Smith wins this one. He's able to ink down third and five. The quarterback gets the ball out for 39 yards. A phenomenal job by Dak Prescott with the accuracy. A nice job as well by Josh Sweat as well. He almost gets the sack on this one. Uh, watching this play live, really, really nice rep. I was surprised that Prescott was able to get the ball out. I was 100% sure Josh Sweat was about to force a fumble. And he barely misses. And of course, Prescott's able to deliver the 39-yard pass uh, with the left guard defense tackle. Uh, Tyler Smith wins this rep once again. Overall, I felt like both guys definitely made some plays. But I think at this point, it is clear to say that Tyler Smith made more plays against Jalen Carter than Jalen Carter did against Tyler Smith. Uh, do keep in mind, Tyler Smith is in year two. Jalen Carter is still a rookie. I think both guys are phenomenal players. And I do hope that this video came off unbiased to both Cowboys and Eagles fans. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I will see you guys next time with another video.